Guess what, Fiona? Hudson's finally landed a job. He's going to be making enough to support us now. We won't be needing your help anymore. You're free to do whatever you want. Really? Hudson get a job? That's fantastic news. I was starting to worry he'd never find his footing. It's been two years since he graduated, and he hasn't done much since then. It would have been such a waste if he just spent his days loafing around, surfing the net. This is a great step forward. I hope he can put his education to good use and find something he truly enjoys. He's still young. There's so much for him to explore. Where did he land the job? There's no need to be so harsh on your brother, Fiona. Harsh? I'm just being honest. I want what's best for him, and that doesn't include lazing around at home while I foot the bills and you do all the housework. He needs this job. Can't you just be happy for him, Fiona? I don't understand why you're so indifferent. He worked hard in college, and he deserves some time off before diving into work. You didn't even go to college, remember? So don't act so superior. Is that how you remember it, Mom? That I didn't go to college because I couldn't or didn't want to? The truth is, I wanted to go desperately. But no one would pay my tuition or consign a student loan for me. And the money I saved from my part-time job had to go towards bills because you insisted that I contribute. So yes, I've been working since high school and all my earnings have gone into this house. And now... You're belittling me for being a high school graduate? And what if I did stop you? You wouldn't have graduated like Hudson did anyway. It would have been a waste of money to send you. You should be grateful that I saved you for four years of your life. Grateful? For being forced into a job right after high school because you wouldn't help me with college fees? For having to give up my dreams and aspirations? You're not as special as you think you are, Fiona. Even with just a high school education, why can't you accept that you're not as smart or skilled as you think? For the past 10 years, I've been contributing $2,000 every month to this household. After all the sacrifices I've made, don't you think I deserve a little gratitude? Gratitude? For what exactly? I think you'll have to remind me what I'm supposed to feel grateful for. When I first started working, my salary wasn't much, but I knew I had to strive harder so we could afford the things we wanted. So, I worked my way up, and after a few years, I finally got a raise. Since then, I've been covering almost all our expenses every month. For 10 years, I've sacrificed my personal wants and needs, never complaining even when I couldn't buy the clothes I wanted or go on vacations with friends. Now that I'm earning a bit more, I can finally save a little for myself. But even that's not much considering 95% of my salary goes towards this house. And yet, you don't seem to appreciate the sacrifices I've made? Doesn't that bother you at all? No, Fiona. I don't understand what you want from me. Isn't it natural for you to take care of your family? You're making a big fuss over such a small amount of money. Besides, you should be grateful that you're still living in this house. You are an adult now. You should be living on your own or getting married. Mom, I am grateful. That's why I've been paying for everything. Then stop backing so high and mighty over $2,000. You owe me for giving birth to you. Don't expect me to thank you. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it, Mom. Anyway, I have to get back to work now. Oh, and by the way, I'll be going on a business trip next week. A business trip? With your measly salary? And here you are working for a company that overworks and underpays you. Why don't you find a better job? One that pays more. At this rate... You'll end up old and alone without ever becoming independent or starting your own family. Mom, do you really have to belittle my choices like that? I don't regret focusing on my career and enjoying my job right now. 
and when the time is right, I'll find someone. There's no rush. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Hey, Fiona, can you lend me some money again? Hudson, I can't lend you any more money this month. You've been asking me for money quite a lot recently. You need to start managing your own finances. I heard you got a job, so there's no excuse now. It's a good opportunity for you to learn how to budget and use your desires as motivation to work harder. Unlike mom, I won't be able to support you forever. You need to start being more independent. Jeez, Fiona, you sound like an old lady. I just got a job, but it doesn't pay much. I mainly took it to get away from mom and spend more time outside the house. Regardless, it's good that you're working now. Mom won't bother you as much and you'll have your own income. You could even consider moving out if you wanted to. Mom tends to be overprotective of you, but I think it's time for you to learn how to take care of yourself. <laughs> Imagine mom's reaction if I told her I wanted to move out. By the way, why are we moving all of a sudden? What? We're moving? This is the first I'm hearing about it. Mom didn't tell me why. All she said is that she found a better place. But I don't get why we're moving next week. Plus, my part-time job is closer to the address we have now, so I wish you would have warned me before deciding. And did you say part-time job? I thought you had a full-time job. Does it matter? A job is a job. Alright, we'll talk about this later. I still have some work to finish. Wait, what about my allowance? Hudson, start saving your own money. But how about this? I'll treat you to dinner. Really? Thanks. It's been ages since I've eaten out. Don't get too excited. We're just going to the family restaurant down the street. And in return, you'll tell me everything about your new job and this sudden move. Fiona, we've moved out without you. What are you talking about? We don't see the point in living with someone who doesn't earn much. So, we've moved out. If you want to live with us, you'll have to double your income. Otherwise, we don't need you. If you don't want to end up homeless, you'll have to work harder. But that might be difficult for someone who didn't even go to college. Are you serious? You moved out because I don't earn enough? And now you're telling me to double my income? Is money all that matters to you? There's nothing wrong with me. You just don't earn enough. If you want to know our new address, you'll have to increase your salary. Even if that means finding a new job or a rich husband. Are you threatening me? I'm dead serious. Hudson's got a new job now and he'll be earning more than you. We don't need your measly salary anymore. But, if you manage to earn as much as he does, we might consider letting you live with us. Mom, I'm not desperate to live with you guys. I like my job and I'm content with my salary. I won't do as you say. Fine then, but are you sure about this? Without a place to live, how will you continue working? You'll lose your family, your home, and a chance to find a better job just because you think you're better than us do you even hear yourself you're threatening to make me homeless just so i can bring home more money say whatever you like about my methods i'm saying all of this for your sake you should be making more money at your age and after everything i've done for you i deserve it have you gotten that i give birth to you raised you and fed you I'm just disciplining you, so you'll learn to feel gratitude for the things people have done for you. Gratitude? You're lecturing me about gratitude? The same person who said she'd never thank me for all the work I've done and the money I've put into this house? I've always been grateful for you raising me, but you don't understand why I feel belittled. I've done my best up until now, and I can find any reason why I should be treated like this. Even if you're my mom, 
You're the one who should show more gratitude for the things I've done and given for this family. You think I'd be satisfied with the salary you're bringing in? You only earn $2,000 a month. And what's wrong with me praising Hudson? It's the truth. Hudson's going to be earning much more than that pathetic little salary of yours. We've all decided to move on without you. If you want to live with us again, you'll have to earn double. That's how you can pay me back for raising you up until now. Pay you back? Wow, I should have done this much sooner. But I'll be moving out too. Feel free to do whatever you like. I don't care what you do. It doesn't mean anything to me, because I still have Hudson. Yeah, good for you. You don't have to tell me where you live. And I think you said that you wanted to disown me. That sounds great to me. I don't want to have anything to do with you either. I'm going to finally live for myself from now on. That sounds great to me. You would never be good enough for this family. Anyway, I'm glad we could finally get rid of the weight like you. I've had enough of listening to what you say. Listening to you made me lose out on going to college and made me waste 10 years of my life trying to please you. I can't live with you anymore. What? What's the matter with you? You're going to be homeless and all alone. You can't honestly be happy about all that. What? Homeless? You really don't understand, do you? It's unfortunate, but your lack of interest in me is to blame. I'm actually relieved because I can finally free myself from the toxic relationship I've had with you. This is the happiest I've ever been. I'm going to be free of your manipulation. I'll find a new place to live and I won't share the address with you. From now on, we'll lead completely separate lives. Goodbye. Fiona, why won't you answer the phone? Hurry up and pick up the phone. I've been trying to call you since yesterday afternoon. You can't ignore me forever. I'm your mother. Answer the phone right now. Mother? I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. I don't have a mother. What are you talking about? Don't be silly. I'm your mother. Don't joke around. I need to talk to you about something serious. Oh, well. I think I used to have one, but unfortunately, we caught ties last month and decided we wouldn't bother each other ever again. So, who are you? I'm not interested in talking to anyone who called themselves my mother. I think I remember we had a fight like that. But you didn't actually take it seriously, did you? I didn't mean any of that. It's all in the past. Let's forget that silly fight and make up. I want us to get on from now on. For me, having a mother is a thing of the past. Even when I still called her my mom, she didn't act like one. Don't joke about things like that. I'm being serious. I have something to ask you. We're in a lot of trouble and you've got to help us. So listen to me properly. And I'm telling you that I have no obligation to do anything. You have to say, we're not family anymore. You're the one that said I was just a weight, that you had no use for me anymore. So what made you change your mind? We haven't been able to pay the rent for our new home and we might be getting kicked out the next month if we don't pay up. You've got to help us. I don't understand what's going on, but it looks like we need you after all. I'll let you know what our address is, so come quickly. Please forget about that stupid fight we had and come live with us. You say that, but what do you want from me? I don't see how I can help you. I thought I've already made it clear before we cut ties that I've done more than enough for this family. You chose to ignore that and didn't think you had any reason to feel any gratitude for the things I did. So, I chose to start over. I'm not surprised about the situation you're in now. To put things simply, Dad wasn't bringing any money home. So, it's only a matter of course that you wouldn't pay the rent. What are you talking about? Your dad's still working? He should be earning more than enough. Just because you cut ties with us doesn't mean you can be so rude towards your father. Besides, that's impossible. It seems that you thought the money he was earning was available for us to use on the bills and stuff. But that's a mistake. He was using all that money to pay off the debt he owed. 
so he hasn't paid for anything this past 10 years. He hasn't put any money into paying the loans for the house. And he hasn't had any money to spare to even pay the bills. He couldn't afford to pay the mortgage, so he had to rewrite the contract for the house years ago. It was in my name when you all moved out, so I decided to sell it since I didn't want to live there anymore either. What? That old house was in your name? That's not possible. Wait a minute. I need some time to process this. No, what you're talking about, that doesn't make any sense. Why would he put the house in your name? You still don't understand? That wasn't earning as much as you like to think he was. He was earning much less than me and had to use all of his salary and paying back the debt he owes. I think that the situation you're faced with right now is more than enough proof that his salary can cover the rent, bills, and money you need for groceries. Don't you understand how useful my pathetic salary was? I don't know what you're talking about. He should have already finished paying off the debt he owed years ago. Why is he still paying it off? What you're saying still doesn't make any sense. You think he already finished paying it off? No way! That's going to be impossible! Do you even know how much he owes? It's an amount big enough that he won't be able to pay it off by the time he retires. No matter how much he works overtime, even if he earned the same as I did, it would still be difficult for him to clear it all up. What? Plus, you were saying that you moved because Hudson got a job, right? I understand that you wanted to start a new life and a new home without me, but you really should have thought about it first. Or did you really think that I would cling to you and beg for you to let me in and that you'd get me to find a job where I could earn twice the amount I do right now? Please, Veronica, let me come live with you. I don't want to be alone. I'll work harder and do everything you say. Is that the reaction you thought you'd get? You must be kidding. <laughs> You're the one that thinks too much of herself. If you think that you can use your own daughter that much and expect her to be your slave forever, of course not. It took me a while, but I finally realized that there is nothing I can do to make you happy or love me as much as you love Hudson. So I've given up on trying to get on with someone as toxic as you. You're nothing to me. I can't believe you'd say that. You're a horrible daughter. I did all of this for your sake too, you know. So that you would finally realize that you should work harder for your parents' sake? But Hudson's my baby boy. He's going to be the one to take care of us when we're old. So I realized that we had no use for a grown daughter who isn't even earning that much and isn't even married yet. I just wanted to chase you out of the house before you cause any more trouble for us. You're just a waste of space. And I felt it was the best time to move since Hudson would be getting his first pay this month. I'm tired of you playing the victim, Veronica. Anyway, I'm saying that you shouldn't have decided to move as fast before even knowing how much Hudson would be earning. Do you even know where he works and the hours? He barely works 20 hours a week. It's a part-time job at a convenience store. If he was by himself, he could probably get by. Is that true? He's only working part-time? Why do you even know that? Why would he tell you when he didn't even tell me? He told me he's working for a major corporation. A really big business. He didn't say anything about the convenience store. He didn't say anything about how many hours he's working either. Well, guess he wasn't lying. It's a convenience store that he has stores all over the country. So it's true that it's a major business. But he obviously lied to you because he wants to meet the stupidly high expectations that you have of him so that you wouldn't judge him like you judge me. And because he wants to impress everyone. But I'm surprised he would actually move before confirming how much he was paid. You didn't even wait for his first paycheck before you decided you clearly aren't looking reality in the face, Veronica. You conveniently choose to ignore all the stuff I've done for you. But you believe that Hudson must be doing much better than I am because he's your baby boy. Why does it matter whether it's part-time or not? I never knew you looked down on other people's jobs like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. It doesn't matter. As long as he's earning enough. $600. That's all he earns in a month. Like I said, if he was living alone in a super cheap apartment, maybe that would be enough. But I don't think it's enough to support the three of you. Especially if you can't rely on Dad's paycheck. You're joking? That's all he earns? I thought he was going to get a lot more. 
You called my $2,000 salary pathetic. What would you call Hudson? $600. What's the saying? Oh, I know. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I hope you finally understand how much I've done for this family. There's no way you'll make any of the payments this month or the next month without me anyway. I doubt Hudson will be as generous as I was. He's more likely to keep all the money he makes for himself because he's grown into an adult without everyone around him doing everything for him. I can't believe this. Why didn't you tell me we moved all this way for nothing? I guess we have no choice but to move back into the old house at the very least. We won't have to pay rent there. So will you give it back to us? I already told you. I sold it. You did what? I didn't give my permission for you to do that. I told you I was paying the mortgage. So Dad thought it was only right that the contracts be rewritten in my name. I'm the owner of that house. Well, until I sold it, which I had every right to do, because you all moved out and I didn't want to live there anymore. And I'm warning you, you can't use any of the spare keys. You still have to get in because the locks were changed when I sold it. It's already been sold, and it's already someone else's property. If you try to get in, it'll be considered trespassing, and you'll be arrested. I can't believe you. How could you sell the house while we're, while we're gone? What's wrong with you? Wait, is that why your dad was so worried? He was shocked when I told him you weren't coming with us too. What was that all? Because he knew he couldn't afford to pay anything? I thought it was strange that he kept asking me where you were and why you weren't coming with us. This must be why. Then what did you do? What did I do about what? You were saying that you were going to move? Where are you living now? You sold the house, so you must have gotten a lot of money from that too. Where did you move? I'm living in a penthouse apartment closer to my job. You're what? For the past 10 years, you've been looking down on my job, but I think I deserve a little more respect. I don't know what you consider worthy of respect, but at the very least, I've got my own office. And I've been entrusted with managing several major projects, so earned relatively a lot. Despite everything you say about me, being inferior to Hudson and not earning enough money, I realized that I deserve to spend my own money for myself. So I moved closer to the city center, to an apartment that has a great view of the skyline. I can't be serious. We're about to be kicked out of our house and we can't even afford to find another place. But you're living in a penthouse apartment? That doesn't make any sense. If you've got the money to buy that place after you sold the house, then we deserve to live there too. No way that's not happening. You asked for this. You're the one that planned to move out while I was away in the business trip and said that she wanted to disown me. Fiona, don't be like that. You'll forgive me, won't you? I was so stupid, but I'm your mother after all. Let's forgive and forget. I just didn't understand you and didn't try to talk to you enough. I never knew how much you were helping us, but I do now. So can we both go back to the way things were and help each other again? No way! Oh my god, this is hilarious. Just how convenient do you think I am? Fiona, just think about it for a minute. You don't have to say no that quickly. We're going to be kicked out of the house. You've got to help us. Why should I? You were laughing about how I wouldn't have a home to come back to when I got back from my business trip. You didn't even tell me you were planning on moving. And now? that you know the truth about who has the money, you're begging me to let you live with me. I don't even want to tell you my address. I don't want you coming anywhere near me. Are you serious? Even though I'm your mother? Like I said, I don't have a mother. We already cut ties, remember? You're a stranger to me now, and I don't want anything to have to do with you. But if you pay me back all the money, I've put into paying the mortgage and the bills in the past 10 years. I might think about letting you know where I'm living right now. Well, I think that's going to be impossible. So, goodbye.
After all, I blocked my mother's number and wouldn't reply to any of the messages my family sent me. They soon faced the consequences of their actions, as karma caught up with them. They were evicted from their new house, which they had bought with the money they had taken from me. Only weeks after moving in, they had no place to stay, no friends to help them, and no savings to fall back on. My father, who had never stood up for me, was angry with my mother for how she had mistreated me. He forced her to find a job and contribute to the rent of a small apartment they eventually rented in a run-down neighborhood. He also banned her from returning home until she secured a full-time position, something she had never done in her life. Hudson, the brother who had always been her favorite, vanished with his first paycheck and never looked back. It looks like he wasn't interested in taking care of their mother anymore. Despite how much he had praised and favored him over me, our mother only has herself to blame for not treating her own adult children with respect.